you might as well take this live. Just give me a heads up when we are live. Ah, marvellous. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another game of Competitive Left 4 Dead 2 TV. I am Battle, and by my side I have Dragon. Say hello, Dragon. Dragon. Well, Dragon has been hit by a truck, but he is here. Uh, our team's tonight for round three in the winner's bracket of the South American Cup. Uh, team Wayward and Team Sinister. For Team Wayward, we have Griffles, Pushpop, Cobra, and OPZ. For Team Sinister, we have Shade, Remix, Audio, and R2. Uh, map will be Parish 1 to 5. Joy, Parish finale, we all love seeing that. And, um, yes, this is South American Fresh, so there is 16 second spawn timers and one set of pills. That's about it as far as changes go to uh, Standard Fresh. Um, yeah, so, uh, Team Wayward, if you remember, are the team that uh, was supposed to be playing Team Sapphire and Hard Rain 1 to 5, but that didn't go as according to plan, as we found out when an entire new team came into Sub Sapphire. And, of course, Team Sinister played their last match from this cup against, um... Uh, what are they called? Uh, team Exotic, which, of course, was Dragon's team. Dragon seems to have fucked up his mumble, so he's, uh, reconnecting that. Teams are in the server at the moment. We have... Well, seven of eight, currently. Jeff lied to me. Fucking Jeff, I was in the middle of playing scrims and shit, and you're like, oh my god, there's five of them here, get the fuck in here quickly before things happen. Is OPZ even cast? There you go. Finally. It's a rare problem that I used to have a while back in Mumble. A bit of nostalgia of experiencing it again. So I believe this is, yeah, this is the semi finals, isn't it? Between Sinister and Wayward. I would think that, uh,. Sinister probably expected to win this contest, but um, I, I don't know a great deal about Wayward. Do you happen to know the World Soul Battle? What? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention, I was dealing with a retard. <laughs> I was saying, do you happen to know Wayward? Um, by any degree? I do know Push Pop um, and Griffles. Um, unfortunately, OPZ is a phenomenal retard. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> Nothing more exciting to add. Jeff apparently knows Griffles, though. Yeah, Push Pop seems to be um, uh, one of the more formidable on this team. Uh, Ghost isn't bad HR either. Um, I've never really seen much of OPZ, truth be told, so. Can't really comment. Um, and obviously, with Sinister, we have. Uh, R2 is due to join the server. And Briss is here as well, so let's hope we don't see Briss uh, end his own life. Of course, you can't bunny hop in South American Fresh, so that probably won't happen. No, but you can pull off a haymaker if he wants to his tank. Ah, For yes. some weird and explicable reason, I still don't know why they decide to add that back. And you know, since I've been playing by the equilibrium recently, as we both have actually, I mean, I still can't get used to this, uh, going back to the old fresh system of this man being worth 400 points, distance and 800 health bonus. Indeed. So for those of you who don't know, uh, it 200 points distance and just 400 bonus on uh, equilibrium. Which is pretty much fair because this map is nowhere, not at all worth 400 distance points. Let's be honest. If you rush from the safe from from the beginning area to the safe from, you probably get about what two, three attacks on the spawn systems. Uh, give or take, yeah. Of course, you get more during tank, but yeah, it's yeah. not really that much for the SI to do. Exactly. 
can't. You'll probably send it about, I don't know, depending on how your tank holds line of sight, you can probably keep about two, uh, maybe three attacks tops during tank as well. But once tank is dead, I mean, that's it. That's basically one more attack, maybe, before save from, depending on where tank spawns. If it's a late tank, uh, the one that spawns inside the alleyway, um, it'll probably, if, if it doesn't wipe and it gets killed, um, the SI will have like one more attack at the alarm car or at the safe room door, and then you know Bobby's uncle, whatever the health they have left remaining after tank is usually the health they have walking into the safe room with. Health bonus will obviously differ because uh, of bleed outs and shit. Nothing spectacular. Oh, we are going live. It seems. And first attack is going to be dealt out by the infected with a boomer. Jockey, Smoker, and... Is that a... Charger? It is indeed, yeah, a Charger. Put your spec card on, sir. It'll help tremendously. So anyway, Thanks. we have a Team Sinister taking their uh, first round on survival. Dragon has covered the opening attack for the SI. There's an immediate tank as well. Uh, do we have orbs for this? I believe we do. Uh, oh, to the infected war room. Uh, don't do a double. Don't cross, don't. I know. They're all underneath. Yeah. It's fine. Just wait. Fuck. Oh, can you boom again? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go for a hit. Three, two, one, go. Walk over, walk over, walk over. Double boom, man. Yeah. These are bad. It was close. Hold it. Save that smoker. What the fuck? Why is there a smoker? It's a bot. He spawned it. It's fine. Why? Why? I told you not to spawn your bot. Here you go. Oh. Um, I'll tell you one. Guys, can spawn. Help him. Oh, I'm here. Down one. Ten point. Alright, alright. Fine. Shit, help! I guess send it AI. And um, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, tank ending up in the hands of uh, Can't Play So Cast. So Tank has now got AI with 500 HP. Tank managing to get a single down, missing about 12 punches on cornered survivors, so that was pretty lousy. Tank kills himself with a car. Boomer goes off on two. Jockey getting net 2 in the corner. And he still can't land. Hunter gets cleared. Jockey down. Smoker down. Survivors are going to make their way towards safe room. They'll be able to get in front of the alarm car before the next SI attack comes up. Currently sitting at a pretty good 400 health bonus. They do still have three sets of pill as well. Uh, the only person who's currently bleeding is Briz at the moment. But R2 Shade and Remix. Remix are uh, still taunting this, the uh, SI with a phenomenally amount of uh, high solid HP. Yeah. 95. I'd just like to add, there was a moment back there in the first area, or, oh, or that though, there's a boomer coming in, runs two on Ellis and Coach, um, but the rest of the attack hasn't come in, he's supposed to treat it back to the end of the uh, lane, Smoker's pulling one, Charger's trying to come in, there's a spit to follow up with it on Coach. I think R2 <laughs> had the luckiest spot, where he was charged, barely any spit surrounding him. Yep, and of course, um the initial 10 damage from the charge being emitted by the smoke of god frames as well. Absolutely, yeah, I mean there's only going to be one jockey to wreak whatever havoc he can. Jockey's missed his rocket, but Jockey is coming in. Survivors are already in safe room. Sinister making safe room with a 432 health bonus after map 1 of Parish. So, pretty solid start from Sinister. Let's see what uh, Wayward can do. Yeah, like I was trying to say earlier, I think uh, in some degree that Wayward will regret not going in with their tank in the first area because even though two were boomed and looked like survivors had it 
covered with the uh, spawns and with the horde. Mm, you know, the tanks still could have gone in there and flushed them out, made them more exposed to the commons, maybe pulling a bit more damage, and maybe could have gone an extra in cap out of that. Yeah, I mean, the boomer support for tank was pretty good. I mean, they had uh, initial double boom as tank spawned up, and then they had another double boom while um, an SI attack went in. The game is live, however, opening attack once again for the SI as a jockey charges smoker and boomer. A sinister now on. Uh, there is tank. Uh, Jeff, sinister warm. You up top. I'm reloading. Heads up. Reloading. 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 To hate me, Are we allowed? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's in the config. Give us a recap if you want to go in, yeah. Get the down first, though. Careful, He's got the down. Hey, let's go now. Oh, I Get the guy with the charger. I'm cleared. You go down. Oh my god, I do. Sorry. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was Team Sinister's tank. I managed to go in really early with Remix and getting a nice quick down. But um, unfortunately, tank missing quite a few punches. Two survivors have gone down though. So, I mean, they have dropped the health bonus. Ghost. Ooh, Ghost is separated from the rest of his team. Never mind. That was Griffles. Nick is uh, getting commoned pretty badly, and there's a hunter he, up as well. Yeah, he's got a riot cop on him, that's why. He's not going to be able to kill him, that's just like if he's got no common on him. And the hunter, hunter intercepts, intercepts as well. Nick Might is going to die. He's dead. He is. Nick is dead. Or push pop, abandoned by his team, getting beat on by an armored zombie. Uh, he does eventually die to common, so that's going to hurt the uh, the overall score for uh, Team Wayward as they make safe from. Next Hunter attack is coming in. Yeah, Charger sorry, charge misses charge. Getting some fists up. <laughs> and another one on Ellis for good measure. Yep, Ellis is having to pill up. Ghost is holding what's left of the health bonus. A lot of separation going in though. One survivor pushing towards safe room. Shell's making a, a book for it. He's going to get into safe room, but her teammates are far behind her. And there's a double cap waiting. That will be safe from for Team Wayward. They do make it in with three. Uh, with a 108 health bonus. They're still trading Sinister by about 300 or so points. Yeah, Jockey separated Nick onto the street. Um, they cleared the Jockey, but then Nick went down to a common. And then uh, the Jockey basically left him in the middle of the street with an armored zombie beating on him while they went back to uh, pick up Rochelle or whoever it was that was in capped uh, back in the safe room area and then when they were running back Hunter intercepted, jumped on his face, stopped the pickup uh, and Nick got fucked. Poor Push Pop. I feel bad for him because I actually like Push Pop. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually surprised that the wife didn't uh, there wasn't a wipe earlier on, especially when Remix had the chance to finish it off. Even with low health though, but he missed a couple of crucial punches on Ellis, who did a great job of juking him. Indeed. And uh, I do have a shout out from Bravo, well I say a shout out, it's more relentless spam with shout out attached to it. Uh, reminder again to everyone that the H2K vs Best Friends Forever is at 10pm Eastern Time, which is near enough, not long after this cast actually, so stick around for that. I may need to, uh, require- what? Fuck Jeff! Jeff knows! He told me! Reloading. Reloading. Reload! Come on Alice, who then gets pulled by the smoke- and Coach briefly running through spit just to rescue his friend right there. But it gets killed. And only about 18 oh, really? damage on the board. God damn. Bravo! Oh, 
kill you. Reloading. Reloading. Well, you kill everyone. 18, no, sorry, 20 damage going in off that uh, initial attack by um, Team Wayward. No, not bad at all. I mean, Sinister seem to have uh, tightened up their survivor game from yesterday. Boomer going in a bit early though, but gets popped. Reloading. Jockey and Hunter both spawned up and coming in. Spitter also coming in. Hunter gets skeeted. Jockey gets shredded. Uh, Spitter just spits nowhere out of frustration for himself. And Spitter dies. So, again, another solid shutdown. What looked like it could have been a um, decent 2 2 attack, that boom had landed. He would have had about two, maybe three survivors turned into just a full on sack attack. Nick is horribly separated, though, as he looks for HR in middle. Next attack is up for the SI. Boomer, Hunter, Smoke. Final spawn will be a jockey. 3 1 with Boom. Uh, Hunter's pre spawned up and jumping around. He's getting chipped. Take a bit of a Jockey and Smoker in support. Jockey landing on coach. Double and Smoker landing on us. Tri cap momentarily. Great damage coming on the board here, especially with the jockey still on coach. He's got a few comments to contend with as well. Dan Jockey. That overpoweredness knows no bound. Ali's uh, R2 right on 40 as well for his health. One more scratch from a comma and he's going to be slow. Well, the SI do have a pretty solid setup for this next choke point. Uh, inside the event, it's a charge, a spit, a smoker, and a boomer. It's a 2 2, but I mean, a nice stumble into spit here can never go wrong. You may see a boomer sack, but it'll be dangerous to do it so early or so late. Well, next attack they've got is a charge, a spit, a smoker, boomer, but there is a tank as soon as they start the event. Oh dear. Well, uh, Jeff, let's run this shit over to an infected war room. Reloading. Save it, save it, save it. Do they have HR? Uh, yeah, probably. Do they? Who, who's HR? Remix, sorry. Should I roll in? Just run! Mm, hold on, wait. Start pushing forward. No HR. Oh, no so HR. PC. Back out if um we all die. Go. go on, I have go. to go. Yeah, go on, go on. Hurry up. Oh. Get ready to come off. Charger, charger, charger. Tank. Tank. Dude, I can't do anything. Charger one later. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was Team Wayward's tank in the hands of Push Pop. Going in, managing to get it down on Coach. Um, great SI support with a, a Hunter landing on Ellis, managing to get the in cap. Unfortunately, Smoker was cleared just as the Charger landed. So, um, not as much damage that could have gone in. The tank was getting uh, uh, juked a bit by fancy moves of R2 and Remix. Next attack is coming in, though. Boomer gets a boom in on one. The Charger spawned up behind and a Smoke. Smoker gets a pull. Charger misses his charge. Shade wisely pushing ahead of his team with frying pan out, clear, uh, pulling all the commons to himself, giving his uh, survivor companions pretty much a free run through this horrible fucking rush event. I just I just keep thinking back to that uh, moment where the tank was there and he had a real chance to complete the wipe there, but now you look at the survivors and where they are at the moment, they narrowly escaped and have still got two survivors in green. Uh, attacks coming in and Boomer is trying to get a Boomer on show and on Ellis. Uh, the Hunter coming in from distance to try and land. Teaming up with the Jockey as well. Oh, it was just a momentary double cap. Jockey got uh, shot down too quickly, I think. It was almost a try cap. Rochelle's still on the plank, though. Uh, I think the team is trying to tell her to hurry up. Yeah, Sinister wasting no time powering through this little room here, so that's a, a valuable opportunity for the SI wasted. There is a lot of common coming in, and an attack is coming. Jockey charges Spitter, boom. Charger misses his charge and gets shut down. Spitter spits on nothing. Boomer gets popped after getting a double boom in, but everything else is down. That could be safe for him. Yeah, indeed. Shade and Remix still holding uh, solid HP. Shade like a fucking machine pushing towards that safe room. 
It's holding really good solid HP. Next SI attack is coming up, but I don't think they're going to have enough to hit. Hunter and Smoker. Final two spawn. Smoker misses his tongue. Hunter gets skeeted. Boomer gets popped. Smoker cleared. Just a jockey left. And Sinister make it with a 292 health bonus. So solid round again from Sinister. Shade declaring his, uh, his love for high health bonus. Yeah, he had a pretty good round and he knows it. He the did have a very yeah. solid round. Uh, some really good tank jukes going on by Shade as well. Uh, and of course, just making Let's it go. on that map with high health bonus after that event, virtually unscathed by Common, is a pretty good accomplishment. Uh, next attack, well, Rampil, next round. Rampil, uh, Rampil. Team Sinister taking their hands on Special Infected. Current setup is a 2 2 Smoke of Boomer, Hunter, and Spitter. We saw 20 damage, was it, go out on uh, yeah, Team Wayward's first attack? Let's see what they get. Well, I actually really like this first attack coming out of this safe room because you never know exactly how much damage is going to go on the board. Um, I have seen some amazing attacks here. And that could be the result, or it could be a pretty damn good uh, shutdown on part of the survivors. Yeah, 2 twos are very fickle things. I mean, sometimes they work really well. Attack is coming in. Hunter going for 15 damage pounds and in spit. Smoker separation. He does get cleared. Boom goes in on what? Boom's gonna waddle over the fence and get another proxy on Rochelle. So, pretty good damage going out of there. Currently sitting at just under uh, 40 points of damage. Dude. And Rochelle's just breezing past, getting the attention of the Commons with a frying pan. Well, the survivors are taking their time actually trying to rejoin with her. And, uh, I can see Jeff is going to make a huge contribution with his charger in this next attack. As there's a sh uh, hunter and a smoker coming in as well as a spitter. And uh, Jockey's trying to come in from distance. Smoker got clear very quickly. Jockey landing on Nick for a tiny bit of damage. Jeff uh, still helping out with the charger. Fucking hell, Jeff. There you go. The Sinister choosing to sack their, uh, attack as well. A survivor is now pushing pretty hard towards the uh, alley choke point. Right there, and the, the survivors should indeed open the door and fight the tank where it was. So I guess tank spawns as they're inside before they open the event, but because Sinister were very quick doing so, they did uh, start the event and were unable to go back. Attack is coming in though, but it looks like just a hunter sack. Reloading. Reloading. Careful. I don't know. The Sinister could... Uh, yeah, Smoker is going in for a separation. Uh, he does get a tick of damage, but then gets cleared relatively quick. I don't see why Sinister are holding on to this attack. They know they don't need the perfect setup because the tank is near enough instantaneous, but they are saving what they can in case survivors do rush back. The Hunter taking a little bit of time there to clear, so more chip going out again. And a natural horde rolling in. Looks like Wayward are going to spawn tank and rush back. Oh no! Tank doesn't actually spawn until the door is open. Until the door opens, yeah, I think it's like the first step out side of the actual truck that they take that's needed to spawn the tank. Yep, so we would now no choice but to attack. Pair of shade waddling in with his boomer. <laughs> yep. Tank Only be triggered. Up. Only be triggered when the doors open. And yeah, we should head to a uh, Sinister War Room. Indeed, Sinister War Room, Jeff. They just spawned her. It's coming. Oh, go, in, go in, go in, go with the horde, go with the horde. He went forward and started it. Should've just stayed back. Briz, you can spawn in the back right here with the jockey, if you want. You might go forward now. It's the down, then we'll go. No, he's not gonna get I'm it. Someone's gonna come from front, let's go. He's, he's dead. Bruh, go! Why didn't you let them go forward, dude? I told me to set up in the back. Not, not you. He should have kept them in the back. Got you. Okay, hold on. There are serious problems on this team. Let's get a rock. Yeah, get a rock, go. 
Three, two, one, go. Right. They have an HR now, I'm gonna just lose it. Done that. There was an HR on that team? Yeah. It only really? works for one team. Oh. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tank is about to go AI, although it's in the hands of Shade. He's currently sitting at 15 HP. <laughs> uh, pretty good handling of that tank by um, the team Wayward. Uh, they managed to like trick the tank into pushing in, and then they all pushed around the tank and went forward. Hunter going for a lot of damage, though. Mocha grips in front. Double they have going on. I haven't noticed his tank yet. He's only got 15 HP. Now they know it's immaculate. So no they're... sets of pills left. Yeah, I think they're already at the same amount of health bonus that uh, uh, Sinister Waltz into the safe from Wave at the end. But they still got yeah. a bit of a truck to go. Ghost and uh, Sergeant Griffles holding uh, the wealth of the health bonus left. They are pushing pretty fast towards Safe, but Rochelle is separate in the back. Hunter trying for a sneaky wall kick, doesn't get it. Boom goes up. Hunter lands his pound. The charger guy. I'm <laughs> missing the point by charge. The remit. But the uh, coach does go down to spit, and that was health bonus. Michelle down to one HP. But uh, that will be safe from for uh, in Wayward. Going to incap Michelle to get a bit more health bonus as well. They're currently sitting at 164. Oh, lock it. Net. <laughs> We do make it with 168 health bonus. So a pretty good recovery. Yeah, I mean, the, you, know, you look at the difference, and they're only 512 points behind. And <laughs> Shade passing judgment on R2's tank. And, you know, you'd have to admit, because even though Pushpot made a very questionable decision of triggering off the hordes, whilst the tank was still up, you know, they did make the push. You know, they managed to get enough slowdown and a bit of juking on R2, and. By the time he managed to get out of there, he only had 400 health left. Yeah, so I think um, after he punched Rochelle, I thought R2 had Rochelle cornered just outside the um, uh, just outside the trailer where she started. I mean, if he could have got her in cap there, that would have been brilliant because I mean the SI can just all spawn in that trailer. Of course, it's somewhere for the tank to hide as well. Hmm. And the longer you can keep the tank up, the better it is. Yeah, and the interesting thing here is that, you know, we're heading to real endurance maps now, made even more so by the fact that uh, there's no spare pills to look forward to. Uh, it's going to be brutal here, especially if there's any point where you have to fight the tank without the support of the HR. Um, you know, you can only find one Molotov for extra support, and of course you got to deal with the whole uh, ladder choke point. Game is live, attack is up, smoke a boomer, charge a jockey, so it's a 3-1 with a boomer instead of the spit. But attack is coming. Boomer gets a boom in on one, charger gets killed, jockey land. Does get cleared as well. Smoker missed his tongue, then finally gets shut down. So, not bad, I mean damage is slowly ticking up from the uh, common infected from the boom. But looking at just about uh, 20 points of damage, give or take. So not a bad opening, uh, not a bad opening attack. It's a shame that the charger got focus fired down like instantly near enough. Weapons over here. I can't see the HR immediately in the first room, but maybe it's in the sub bathroom. Attack is coming in. It's all going for Rochelle, who's separated in the room, but she does jump the charge M2 the jockey and hits it. She does take a punch from the charger, but all in all, I'd say that was a pretty solid take. I mean, you know, 10 damage from a charger was nothing considering what could have happened had she gotten separated by that jockey and charger. Watch out. She was quite fortunate to get away with that, to be honest. In many yeah. events in uh, history where, you know, when one person gets captured and they just, the rest go and try and save them, and then that's when they tank. Start, so there's a tank up. Ooh, Boomer gets a double boom as well. Uh, Jeff is trying to shoot over to an infected war room. Push him. this one. Save this one. I got him, I got him. Keep going. Oh, oh, get wrecked, oh. kids. What's your triple shot gonna do now? Scratch him, scratch him. No, 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 take him back. Forward, forward, forward. That's distance forward. points. Who cares? Remix is coming. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit. The guy back there is still up, they're pushing over the fence. Punch out, punch out. What are you doing, Charger? Fuck. Baggin? Haha. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. Push frag video, volume 2. Never mind. I'm gonna die. It's not fucking around. He's got nothing left and there's a charger coming <laughs> for him. We are back ladies and gentlemen and that was uh, a sort of wayward tank right there. With three in or or dead and Briz on his own with a guitar. Just trying to pull some sort of do or dare with his uh, charger here. And he's got a horse to contend with as well. And a hunter cornering him. Guess and he manages charger. to kick charge. Oh, the hunter's still up. He kills the hunter. <laughs> Takes four shots on the hunter and still gets the kill. Oh, the, the smoke smoker again, ends it. That would be a wipe for Team Sinister. Um, great capitalization on that tank spawn by Team Wayward. Uh, they managed to get a nice tri boom in. A uh, tank rolls through in with it. Poor Nick got separated by a jockey and carried off into the point of no return. Um, when his teammates tried to help out, one was smoked. Um, and it just went downhill from there for Sinister. So a pretty early wipe for them. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that was quite the capitalization right there. I mean, the only person who wasn't boomed ends up getting jockey into that house, away from the rest of the action. And, you know, that's what started it all. It was a brilliant attack by Wayward, and they've had themselves a real advantage here, they just need to maximize it. I mean, they're only down by about, was it 500 points? So, I mean, if they take that tank, that's, that's just distance points alone. That's nothing. Uh, they can't make up at all, just, uh, just by getting out of the uh, car park, I believe. I mean, if they can handle the tank pretty much unscathed, they've got a great chance of going forward. Attack is coming in. Dodger misses his charge. Smoker gets a smoke. Boomer gets a boom on two. Rocky looking for some scratches. He gets one, gets two, gets three, and gets a jock. She's rocking up uh, 32 damage with that jockey. <laughs> a, a pretty solid opening attack. Uh, Jeff has decided to help out once more with the uh, aid of a spitter. But well, they seem to do good enough damage without him. Oh, well, the next attack up is a Hunter Charger and two other spawns coming up now, which is a Boomer and a Smoker. A uh, Hunter has already pre spawned on the roof, they're already going in with this attack, and a Charger has managed to get a separation charge on uh, Nick inside the house. It's a Boomer also and a Hunter distracting uh, Rochelle and Ellis. And uh, Push Pull nearly got in capped in that. But there's a proxy boom. Uh, getting a four boom on all of them. It's a lot of damage on the board. Since they're clearly unhappy with themselves after that tank wipe, so they're piling on the damage. I mean, Push Pop's got very like Push Pop and Ghost have had to chug pills. Griffles has been pretty heavily chipped as well. I mean, with tank about to come up and an SI attack waiting, this could be a another repeat. They do have a gas can though to light tank. They do indeed, yeah, and uh, I'm just looking to see, if is, was there ever a Molotov around here? Uh, no, just the gas can. Alright. I mean, Sinister definitely very uh, strong with their effective plays, so I'm trying to see what they do with their tank, and we will know if they're going into their warm jar. Warm. I have not. I know what? Yeah, just get them out. Hey, one more set of pills for the rest of the map. Gas cam just right here. Out. Go around. It's their last set of pills the entire map. Standing next to the gas cam. Let's go for a rock. You guys should have went for a rock when I got the boom, but when I get up, we'll go I'm for a rock, I guess. You might go forward. No. Go for a rock now. Let's go for a rock. Go. Everyone go. We got to charge guys are so late. Hide. Nah, no, they wouldn't push me. They go forward. Let them go forward, then. You can go around. You don't have to go, like, you can go around, you know? Yeah. Get in the roof? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can bleed them out all day. They have no more pills. Do they have a chair? Nope. I don't think so. No. It's possible. Let's go for rock. Now, let's send their spawns in. Come on.
I got it. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be one health soon. They can't do anything about that. Take Uzi chip. Nothing. Don't even lose LOS. Just take the chip if you need to. They're pushing. Not for long. They're just looking for stuff. Ready for rock? Yeah. Let's go. No. Cover coach now. Just babysitting. Jump rock. I don't know how to do that. Oh. Commit, 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 commit. Commit on the slow guy. Just jumping around. Slow guy. Alright, I got him. Alright, I got him. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was Team Sinister's tank. Um, Starting with and ending up in the hands completely of R2. Uh, managing to get the wipe, uh, but due to mainly some great SI support. We thought uh, R2's ninja tank was going to be able to sneak in behind the survivors, but they noticed him at the last minute, uh, cleared the infected attack, which in all fairness did give R2 a rock for more frustration, but um, was uh, gave the survivors an extra like sort of 100 points of distance, maybe a little bit more than that, just to be able to push through that house into the open area. Unfortunately, taking into consideration that they pushed, they did not pick up ammo in the trailer, so I assume they had to push room for it. Yeah, and to make matters worse, they didn't even have an HR, which actually handed back the advantage to Sinister in a way. Yep, no HR, very little ammo, um, and the separation as well, uh, capitalized fully by a jockey, which managed to pull another survivor into an area which is really unfavorable to be in with a tank above you. So, I mean, Sinister recovered well after their uh, early wipe at the hands of that tank, and dished out a wipe of their own. Uh, so we go into map 4 with about a... Uh, 444 difference, so it's still pretty close actually. It's mm. it's not a far gone conclusion by any means. Opening attack for the SI is a 3-1 setup, Charger, Smoker, Boomer and Jockey. And we are playing the finale as well on the bridge I believe, so... That damn yeah. bridge. Without any consideration, this is by no means over. I think the Charger's trying to look for a spawn inside the house on the left, and he does so. Oh, and he gets a nice double charge, and a jockey is taking coach inside the house. There's some brilliant uh, distraction here, but I think Nick is probably going to try and get to. I'll just take a lot of damage from that jockey. And <laughs> so he's just trying to bat him off. Had to yep. take a couple of swings to do it, though. R2 taking a lot of damage from that jockey. It's a pretty solid opening attack for Team Wayward. Jeff, you're back on my HUD as a smoker this time. Get off. There we go. Next SI attack is coming up. Uh, the jockey's up in five seconds. Uh, Charger, Hunter, Smoker, final spawn coming in. Is he going to be a boomer or a spitter? It is a boom. Charger gets a chop. Charger oh, gets uh, Hunter was a bit late with the intercept there. There is a smoker though. Hunter got skeeted, I think. Hunter did indeed get skeeted. Double boom landed. One or two ticks from the smoke. But if that Hunter had managed to intercept on the Charger, that would have been dangerous again. R2 yeah. now down into the red. Still not committing his pills yet. Tank's Tank up. is up in the hands of... Can't play so cast. Um, Jeff, infected Borum. Can you get the boom? I'll try. Fag. Go. Go. Shoot me. Oh, no. No. Really? <laughs> he died. Shade, you're a faggot, man. Should I spawn this? I'm gonna reload, team. Ah, uh, double pass. Oh, wow. Alright. Do work, ghost. Go. Go. Help him out, help him, help him. On your back, this bat. Kill it. 
We are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was a Team Wayward's tank. Uh, spawning up at the hands of Can't Play, so Cast. Uh, handing over to Griffles. Uh, Griffles did get a nice early punch in on Briz as he pushed in, but uh, unfortunately he got railed by SMG fire, slowing him down quite significantly. That He missed a lot of punches on uh, R2. Uh, did manage to get a final punch in on Shade, and there is a Witch oh, there's a as witch, well. And he's already activated slightly. Oh, the Boomer did, yeah, giving her the full scratch. Pissed her off royally. And they can't exactly tell where she is. So they're just sh shooting her. Uh, shooting through the wall at blind chance. Oh, the witch is going. But pops on her. Stop me. Oh, she missed a scratch as well. But there's a triple charge right there. The jockey going. And which is oh, dead. Oh, I think Shade was almost about to get killed there by the support of the, the Witch and the Charger. Yeah, Shade goes down, almost dying. He is back on his feet. Remix and uh, Briz here holding what's left of the health bonus for Sinister. Uh, R2's down to 1 HP and hasn't taken his pills yet. In all fairness, R2 hasn't actually gone down yet. Reloading. Oh, yeah. He goes down Still there, good. that would be bad. He does go down. No, he's oh, he saved. <laughs> Oh, oh, Hunt and Spit. Hunter and Spit landing on Shady's comp block as well. Shady goes down, down again. It's black Hunter and white. is down eventually. There's a jockey going off as jockey well. Jockey on Ellis. It's just remix now on his own. And Shade's gonna die by the comments, and he's dead. Ooh, Shade dies. So as you can see here, I mean. A parish campaign without spare pills is pretty brutal. That's gonna be Just, it. Yeah. That is the wipe. Team Wayward wipe Sinister at the event. Uh, Sinister making about 300, well, just shy of 400 points of distance on that map, giving them a total score of 2,215. So, Wayward are behind by about 1,000 points. Uh, the tank is in a pretty uh, comfortable place to take. He does spawn upstairs just outside the pool room. So, I mean, if a good boom goes off, that tank could push straight in. Like I said, though, without spare pills, it's going to be, especially with the order that this match is going at the moment, it's going to be quite a big ask for uh, Wayward to actually probably even match that amount of points. I mean, it's, it's very much possible, but they are dealing against a team that's quite hot with their infected. Wayward will, of course, know where the witch is exactly as well. Exactly, yeah. Still, with where she is, I mean, she is pretty comfortable for the SI to hit on. It's also a matter of how well they handle this tank as well, because I got the feeling that Sinister will actually handle this much better. I mean, it's never um, an ideal position to be the tank in that pool room area. It's very hard to corner a survivor because of all the damn slowdowns. But we would have been handling their uh, SI like pretty solid. Oh dear. We have another match going in 10 minutes, which is the 4v4 Hunters match. And of course, we have a uh, hard to kill as well, and best friends forever. Straight after that, it's going to be another one. So we do have Sud rolling on the HD stream for Hard to Kill versus Polarity in the 4v4 Hunters Grand Final. Um, after that, it's going to be Hard to Kill versus Best Friends Forever in um, uh, Fuck It, We'll Do It Live. Of finally readying up, and the match has go uh, sorry, the round has gone live. Reloading. So it seems like uh, Way would have perfectly okay with biding their time, just thinking about strategies just before opening the safe room door. Well, I mean, it's all, yeah, it's all for Way with the play for now. I mean, 
they've had pretty solid run thus far. I mean, they were cut short on map one. Unfortunately cut short. I mean, but they've handled themselves well in all of the maps leading up to that. I mean, they've made near enough the same amount of distance to Sinister each map. It's just that map one uh, difference which is sort of uh, keeping them behind. Attack is going in, however. Dodger going in for Fist. Boomer gets a boom in on one and stumble. Jockey lands on Rochelle in front of the safe room. She gets cleared. Mocha gets a pull on Nick. And he's going to get cleared, but he's getting common quite a bit. Yeah, that attack was pretty much fumbled just because uh, Nick was getting most of the attention. So much so that Boomer actually helped free him when he got popped. And uh, I'm actually surprised because I was going to ask Jeff where his spitter would have been in that attack. Jeff slacking with his spitter. Boom going out on one though. The boom from remix. A nice charger in front. Oh, charger managed to pound. It's cleared very quickly before the second bat. Hunter, the jockey landing double cap. There's a little bit of damage going on the board. Nice even chip all around. Yeah, but Sinister got rid of that hit very early. They will have a hit for tank spawn. They will indeed, yeah. It depends, I mean. We're gonna get Good. two spawns up at least. They got a smoker and a boomer. Tank is up. Hands of Sheriff Shade. Oh, uh, in fact, he Jeff. Really Need help. Don't take my guy. I was stuck. I was gonna die. I got him, I got him, I got him, Shade. Gonna go the rock. How else am I gonna catch them here? Running. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Team Sinister's tank in the hands of Sheriff Shade. Wasting no time pushing in with that boom. Uh, excellent uh, SI support as well. The boomer got the boom. Hunter got a nice cap on the stairs, which did a great deal of damage. Uh, Shade just mopping up with a 2 HP tank. Unfortunately, HR having to reload as tank was basically breathing his last breath, which uh, allowed Shade to get close enough to get that punch, get the down. So, I mean... It was also the same story for Ellis with the uh, SMG, the only remaining survivor he had to reload the exact same time that Coach got incapacitated. God damn. So Sinister wasting no time whatsoever with that tank. Just rolling straight in there onto the fifth and final map of Parish, Wayward versus Sinister. Uh, team Wayward trailing Sinister by about 600 points. So, I mean, it's all to play for now for Sinister. If they can make safe room on this, it'll be a hell of a mountain to climb for uh, Wayward. Obviously, Parish Finale, um, known for its traditional luck. However, we will see no, uh, no sacks going in here, as the SI do have the ideal setup for the whole hit. Boomer, Charger, Smoker, Jockey. So the game is live. Bridge is currently lowering. Sire in position for their uh, their first attack at the first hole. See if we can see. A, I think a death charge here or um, a death jockey will seriously help Wayward. Fighting the tank is just a cunt with only three survivors. You shut your trap, Jeff. Higher of you. Strange, Jeff. Just can you respect just for old time's sake? Because you're not actually on my hub this time. There you go. <laughs> it's old bitch. The survivors making up to the bus there in front of the first choke. Here comes the wave of commons being cleared. SIR raring to go. Smoker, charger, jockey, boomer. Jockey is pawned up. He gets the jock, but he gets cleared. Smoker gets a pull in front. Also oh. gets cleared. Boomer gets a boom in on two. Just that charger up, looking for that death charge. He's repositioned behind the survivors. Yeah, looks like this charge is a bit, a bit indecisive on what he wants to do. He's lost I his spawn. Would, yeah, I think it would be better him just saving it for the next uh, opportunity. 
Indeed, next XI attack is coming up. They do have another jockey. Still got the same charger and a hunter. Final spawn coming in is a spitter. So here comes uh, death charge attempt number two from Team Wayward. Jockey and hunter are both spawned. Hunter gets a pounce in on Cope and gets clear. Death jockey coming charger in. Can't find a spawn. Uh, Sinister have the spawn on the other side of that bus blocked in the back. Can Post block it from the back of the truck. It's getting more and more frustrated with not being able to find a spawn for a charger, which is crucial. It's just giving uh, Sinister extra distance points here. Yeah, Sinister. Uh, oh, there is a bit of separation going on though. Uh, Nick is separated in the back due to the common. Charger's still looking for that spawn. <laughs> I'm sad for him, he just cannot get it. Next SI attack is up, Jockey, Charger, Boomer, Smoker. <laughs> Finally, attack is gets coming in. Charger coming in, oh, Charger gets mowed down. Ooh, there is a oh. fall though, and an in-cap on, uh, onto Nick. And the second one! <laughs> he falls as well. Shane and Briz just both <laughs> falling off at some level. That Jockey is poised and raring to go as well, delaying the pickup even further. Oh my goodness me. One survivor up, there's another and charger. Bruce is dead. And oh, another death charge. Death charge. Two what survivors is, dead. What is Sinister up to? Oh my god. Stay over here. Oh, that, that punch should have landed on Coach. He hasn't freed Shade yet. Might just die of a death spit. And oh, he and does. dead, they're all down. <laughs> and Coach goes, oh my god. What an unbelievable wipe! What in God's name just happened to Sinister? Avoiding every single death charge flawlessly. Not giving the uh, SI a chance to spawn that charger. When they finally had the spawn for it, the charger got mowed down instantly. Briz falling for an in -cap. Shade jumping off the the, uh, the top level and getting incapped as well. Briz eventually dying to common. Death charge going out, then Shade dies and R2 just decides fuck it and stands in the despot. Jeff, you are back on my HUD for all time's sake as a spitter. Still on my HUD. Serious mistakes and blunders. They just thought, fuck it, we'll save them for the finale. Well, they do need a thousand points to win, so they do need to make the chopper with all four survivors and with a 200 health bonus, which is going to be very difficult. However, there will be extra sets of pills. Yeah, because it is a finale, that's right. In fact, I can see an Espessa uh, and an adrenaline shot on the truck uh, where the tank spawns. The, what about the ambulance? Uh, the ambulance. Uh, where the ambulance is? It's on the truck. Nothing, nothing, there. No, nothing in the ambulance yet, so the set of pills and an adrenaline shot at tank. Boomer goes in though and gets a nice little double boom. Sinister now looking for this death charge. They have the jockey, smoker, and charger waiting to go see if uh, this charger gets denied three sets of spawns as well. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think remix is gonna uh, gonna go down to that. Reload. Reloading. So, they, oh, I have a spitter. Isn't gonna be too much help in this situation, but uh, Reloading. I mean, they pretty much got the most important spawns they need for this anyway. Yep, Bitter has spawned up, but he's just going to spit for extra delayers. Reloading. Survivors wisely not rushing into this choke point at all. They know what the SI have and not falling for it. Docky looks like he's going to come from above. Charger and Smoker set up. Smoker gets the pull. There's the death charge. That's push pop dead. Push pop dead. Survivors going to go on now. That's even more for the. Uh, I like there's more heat off sinister. Indeed, yeah. And they're gonna have a hell of a job trying to uh, continue with all double caps and tri caps from now on, especially on this map of all maps. Yep. There's a boomer up, hunter smoke. Final spawn is another charger. Reloading. Boomer spawns up. It's a nice boom on one. Charge looks like he wants to come in from above. There's the charge. Smoker's looking for a pull. Smoker gets his pull. Charger comes in, doesn't get oh. his death charge, but gets a yeah. charge. Now he's trying to clear the pistol. Uh, well, funnily enough, they can still do it with this bonus. But, uh, but yeah, it, it's weird because, of course, he has to deduct the amount that uh, 
Pushpot would have got if he'd actually been alive at this point. Yep, survivors are slowly making their place up towards town. The jockey up. He makes jockey despoiling himself. Mocha gets a pole behind. Let's go the jockey. Boomer going in. Double boom. Yeah, I think they actually need something like a 400 bonus to win it. That's my guess. Up in the hands of Jeff Shade, infected Warren Jeff. I'm committing when the fire goes out. Oh, that charging it like a truck. Oh, she's so. The go to going forward, yeah. Get the other guy. I'm gonna get this guy. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is game. Team Sinister beating Team Wayward. 2,604 points to 2,107. Uh, 4v4 Hunters match. Uh, Polarity versus H2K. The Grand Finals is going live right after this. Yes, I know it's the Grand Finals, Jeff. I did fucking say that. So, uh, commiserations to Team Wayward. Congratulations to Team Sinister for taking this game. Um, I don't know who your casters are for uh, the Grand Finals of the 4v4 Hunters match. Okay, it's Bieber and some of the noob. But um, do stay tuned. The match will be going live shortly. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Good game and good night. Good night and don't forget, H2K versus um, Best Friends Forever. Also, in about two hours' time, is it? Right after the Hunters match, another cast. Three consecutive casts. Merry fucking Christmas, left.